Howdy, 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 my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Pisces, for August, of course, darling. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading helps you out, because that's how I keep up with you, Pisces, all right? We're going to get into three rows for you today, Pisces. All right, your first row, we're going to be talking about the person that is on your mind today. Could be platonic, could be romantic, or could be business-related. Pisces, all I know is it's just not my business to know what type of relationship it is for you, Pisces. Your second row today, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today could be a spiritual message for some of you guys or it could just be serving as a confirmation for some of y'all as well but it's whatever that is is y'all need to hear it today clearly all right and then in your third row today pisces we're going to be talking about some predictions for you i'm going to be able to make some predictions for you today you know the future is never solid of course darling but if you continue going down the path that you have been going down by uh, pisces i should be able to give a good idea about what's going on in your life today all right and what's going to be happening for you but to start out this this energy here pisces we have the back of the deck energy ten of pentacles coming out for you this is really fabulous here all right ten of pentacles can represent a lot of things in a financial way Ten of Pentacles talks about, um, ab I mean, it's literally like the best financial card of like abundance here. And I also want to even point out in the artwork of this here, uh, Pisces, is it's people coming together to work. It looks like they're making soap or berries or so. I don't know what, the, what it is that they're making, honey, Pisces, but they're making something together here. All right. I see flowers and stuff and the coming together of like a family here. All right. So it could be you or someone that you know around you where it's like their success benefits you as well coming in here. But also Pisces, I want to be pointing out here where it's just like, I feel like if you have the opportunity of being able to work together with other people, it's that's the ideal here because because i'm um, now i'm being shown just like someone like everyone coming together and sharing their harvest right someone grows potatoes and so they come and bring their uh potatoes to the table someone has a bunch of chicken so they bring forth chicken darling and eggs right and so it's like through to, uh through the work of like uh through the investment of a collective you're able to have a beautiful feast for everybody all right i do see things stabilizing for you here as well this ten of pentacles i always associate the sense of where you're finally able to start feeling like you're putting in in your roots into a situation into your life in general things are starting to stabilize you're finding your flow i hear for some of you uh pisces but overall like i like this energy for you things this is going to seemingly be pisces a week of where you're catching up some of you guys it might be catching up on your bills right maybe you're having an opportunity here because I even see here, especially in your third row with those predictions here, with that Ace of Pentacles, it's pretty powerful. Like, I see you being able to catch up and being able to catch your bearings and be able to start like the next phase here it's like you you've been on phase one or just whatever but it's just like now it's time to engage phase two it's like you've been waiting but you haven't been wanting to start it until you are at a specific point in your life you know so I, I always hear all the time Pisces where it's just like oh I'll start YouTube after x y and z and it's just like you know new moon in Aquarius opening up to change here I feel like spirits hearing you uh, Pisces and it's just like all right but darling bet you say you're going to start all these projects darling we're going to be opening it up here but I will be saying here Pisces that I see the stability I see the abundance right if we're going to just use that overused word <laughs> Pisces I see the abundance coming in here through new opportunities right new opportunities uh talks our new moons talk about new opportunities new energy right a new phase here and you'll notice throughout this entire reading here Pisces of just like some type of phase ending right because you intends talk about the closure of cycles generally here and you'll notice that common theme with this here so speaking of which now darling Pisces let's get into your first row about the person that's on your mind today you have the page of swords the justice as well as the two of pentacles here for you Pisces all right a lot of you know when you see that page of swords energy i know sometimes uh sometimes a tarot reader will see that page of swords of like you know it's just i always say it's like unrefined communication so it's like a lot of people feeling things but not really speaking it or if they speak it it's not really fully developed it's kind of like speaking before thinking essentially here for others of you it could be that sense of where it's just like they're just not speaking their truth right and more so just like observing right so it's kind of like that sense of where it's just like you're waiting for a text back from them but they don't ever respond with whatever it is that you message them but they'll still look at your uh, instagram story for example right now with this justice energy here as well as this two of pentacles i get this sense here justice energy being that libran energy pisces and but i get this sense here of where things are going to 
how would I want to put this darling Pisces? It's like things are coming into like this person here. If you're not getting like communication from the person that you're wanting to have communications from, I feel like they haven't been communicating with you, not because they don't want to talk to you, but because they haven't been able to have the time. I feel like their plate was just like really full here. All right. I feel like their plate was really full. And so I wouldn't be surprised, um, just like in your response to your energy, like stabilizing, right? I feel like someone else, uh, this person's life is also stabilizing, so they're going to be able to have more time to communicate with you. And he also acknowledged, because the Ten of Pentacles is going to be influencing every single row here, uh, Pisces, this Ten of Pentacles energy, things are stabilizing in their life, so they're able to bring forth that communication, all right? So especially if this is in a personal way here, you're going to be hearing a message from them, especially if they haven't been communicating with you for a while from a more business aspect here pisces or yeah like more so from a business aspect maybe if you, you put out an application somewhere or what have you uh you're gonna be hearing back all right let's get some clarifiers on this row here the full energy see and this is the exact affirmation that you're wanting the full energy is associated with the number zero which i don't know if you'll be able to see it clearly but you'll see it like right here pisces it's uh, shown with the number zero the full energy represents a new beginning essentially here so again even with the clarifiers pisces you're getting this consistent theme of like the closure of a phase to begin a new one and having this full energy here pisces spoiler alert darling all right it's pretty big uh it plays a pretty it makes so much sense for your third row with this world energy here because the world card is the final card in the major arcana and the fool card is the first one in the arcana obviously because it's the zero it's the number zero here right so this does confirm to me where it's just like maybe life has just been busy for both of you guys right life has just been busy or just like so much going on but i hear like this sense of clean slate right when, whenever you have that full energy it's like having straight up that sense of clean slate even me, with me shuffling did y'all even see yeah i think you all could see me shuffle from that uh, position here it pops out once again here if i see <laughs> this ten of pentacles here uh this really interesting here for some of you pisces the person that's on your mind right now and obviously darling let's just you know let's use some critical thinking if you're this person that's on your mind right now is like abusive or whatever this obviously this coming message does not apply to you darling all right but when i see that ten of pentacles there and then i see this uh i reference back to this new moon in aquarius energy opening up to change i get like this sense of being open to this person coming back and being perhaps for some of you uh they're willing to admit where the imbalance was where they you know the communication was the issue i feel like with this person they're not uh, because because of this ten of pentacles here it lets me know that they they're they acknowledge where it is that they could improve and they're actively wanting to work on it all right. This is like, that's what it is. It's like they acknowledge the problem and they also want to work on it here. And even so, eight of wands energy, quick forward movement, eight of wands. It's always just like the ball is going. So it's like the, with this connection here, you felt as if it wasn't going anywhere or due to the lack of communication, just overall movement is happening with this connection here. And I want to suggest for some of you Pisces, don't take it personally if you weren't able to have the best communication at some point in time. You know, maybe they snapped at you or maybe they weren't communicating or maybe, you know, Page of Swords energy is just like they just didn't know how to speak at the time. Not an excuse for what it is that they did because I don't know what they did, Pisces, if anything. But, you you know we're all human and i feel like it's really important to remember that pisces you know sometimes it can kind of get lost in that um when it comes to consuming tarot readings on youtube or tiktok or wherever pisces because it's just like we're thinking from ourselves, but you also have to be willing to acknowledge the other side as well having human emotions they're you know they're going through their own personal things and just because you don't know about it you don't know what battles they're going through right to that corny uh that corny line corny but very true uh line so let's now get into pisces what you need to hear today all right darling so you have this ace of wands strength card coming in here with the queen of pentacles here i don't know why i get like some strong leo energy uh pisces all right i don't know i feel like i don't usually focus in on just like a zodiac sign when it comes to general tarot readings because i always say it's just like chances are after everyone re consumes this reading you're y'all are all dealing with all different zodiac signs right but i even see with this queen of pentacles while well, queen of pentacles is earth energy and i never would associate leo energy with any other deck um, <laughs> that i have uh with leo energy i would even say the queen of pentacles is the tame is very opposite of the leo 
but i kind of see like i see this and i just see lion right i don't know i mean i see it due to the hair it's like that lion's mane right or she just has some fierce thick hair darling right but even so with the strength card coming in here now it looks like she's making love to an anteater so we'll move on from that but generally speaking the strength card is i mean it is the leo card but it's represented by a lion so um leo is just like really screaming out to me right now for whatever the reason all right so pay attention to anyone i mean maybe you just need to exude more leo energy right when you think about a leo you think about a leo that's just like they step into a room and they're just like i am leo hear me roar right so maybe that's what it is but what i see happening for you uh pisces your biggest challenge here is like vocalizing or going forward with the things that you want all right i feel like your biggest challenge here is like this sense of like <sighs> You know what I think about a scenario, Pisces, is that, you know, someone asks you, like, oh, Pisces, do you want, you know, do you want a piece of candy? And it's like, you're really hungry, your stomach is growling, and you're just like, no, no, I'm okay. Or someone asks you, she's like, oh, you want an extra piece of pie or whatever? And you're just like, you really want it, but then you're just like, no, no, it's okay. Because you want to come off as rude, you want to come off as selfish, and what have you. And so when I see that strength card, I call it the card of shadow work. It's like the card, it's like the energy where it's like, being willing to acknowledge a problem and also working through that problem rather than making it your identity ace of wands here it's like speaking your truth more and being okay with what it is that you want right being okay with like feeling like being okay with being like yeah i'm hungry i want another piece right in that sense it's like more uh unapologetic is the word that keeps coming to mind here unapologetic even with the queen of pentacles pisces right full disclosure the queen of Pent pentacles is literally the epitome of like like out of all the queens the queen of pentacles is going to be the first one to speak up when they are inconvenienced now genders obviously do not matter darling i mean look here i'm 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 where i have a glue press on nails on my hand with a hairy arm darling i mean come on i don't care about genders you know <laughs> but the queen of pentacles the archetype of the queen of pentacles is like she's gonna speak up right in a work environment she's gonna be the one she's like wait a minute no i put the, my vacation time in for this months ago you're not you know i you i said i was gonna be gone and during the month of october because i'm going on a cruise just because you didn't try to find a replacement for me until the very last moment and that's not my problem right that's the that's the queen of pentacles because the queen of pentacles is like no i'm gonna make sure i eat first the queen of pentacles is the ones that's like they will the the airplane people don't need to tell the queen of pentacles to put on their air mask first because the air the queen of pentacles is already putting it on right the queen of pentacles will make sure she's breathing takes care of other people but she acknowledges the sense of where just because she makes sure that she's taken care of doesn't mean she's inherently selfish, right? So that's like a message I feel like for many of you Pisces, you need to like unpack for yourself is that sense of being comfortable with the idea. Yeah, that moon energy there, comfortable with the idea of starting to explore aspects of about yourself that make you really uncomfortable. Queen of Swords as well, stop, uh, stepping forward to you. It's interesting because I noticed with, uh, cancer's reading you uh cancer got the same uh all the uh king versions of these and then the four of wands coming in here for you all right speaking your truth more here uh pisces all right if you're needing help speak it out speak for it don't expect people to um you know, I, I hear it all the time and I'm guilty of it as well, Pisces, right? But you have to remember that people are not mind readers. And I see, especially with that Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles, even if you don't see it in yourself, other people perceive you, Pisces, as having your life together, right? Where they're just like, oh, Pisces doesn't need my help, right? Pisces is the one that like has their life together. They have their bills paid, you know, and then some. Like, I feel like people would not ever fathom this idea, Pisces, that you have a weak moment, right? Everyone in your life probably sees you in this empowered way and what have you. And what I want to just challenge you on, and you know, I, my regulars know I'm pretty critical about the Queen of Swords when it comes from an imbalanced place about being like, you know, put down the pride, you know, just because you're receiving, uh, just because you need help doesn't mean that you're weak. You know, sometimes the, str uh, the strongest person is someone that is willing to acknowledge where that where it is that they need help and speaking out about it here. All right. You don't have to always be presenting yourself as this like you have it going on or what have you. If you need help, ask for it. And that's like the challenge uh, for you, uh, Pisces, is being OK with the idea of asking for help. And if anyone makes you feel bad for asking for help, Pisces, that's more so a sign that they that they're not the one for you. All right. You have girl 
<laughs> you have I have these talons. It's like a, any any time I drop a card, Pisces, I feel like a claw machine where I'm just like, okay, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you have the number four popping up for you, Pisces. I always I'm big on numerology, so write down the number four. This is your homework uh, to look up uh, later on to see what messages um, would align with you this week for the number four. But this card says great and full here. All right, great and full. And so I feel like in this message here, Pisces, the reason why spirit is bringing forth a sense of like wanting you to be grateful is not the sense of like what you're going through right now. How is there's a reason for you to be grateful, but I feel like you could be more grateful for things in your life if you gave the gave it the opportunity for you to be grateful for them. I don't know if I worded that right. Right. Um, so let me say this in this way. Right. Let's say you got home from grocery shopping. Instead of immediately taking in all the groceries yourself, Pisces, give other people the opportunity to take in the groceries for you, all right? Um, give people that uh, way because then you will be able to be grateful for that person because then you'll realize be, being like, oh, wow, this person actually is helpful to me. They want to help me, right? And so that's how I see that great and full is, Pisces. It's not the corny message where it's just like, oh, yeah, like just be grateful for life, honey, right? It's hard to be grateful sometimes, Pisces, if you're like thousands of dollars in debt, right? So I'm never, I'm not ever going to be that spiritual person that's always going to like that has a toxic relationship with high vibes right but i feel like it's more so just in a way where it's like yeah you don't might you might not feel like you have much to be grateful for when it comes to the people around you or whatever but give it the chance and you would you have the weasel card coming in here, Pisces. Be silent and pay attention and simply observe, observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you, darling. All right. So this is, again, just taking note of like paying attention to your environment. You know, for some of you, Pisces, I know for many of you, you don't want to just ask for help because it should just go without saying. I, I never finished that thought earlier, but it's like, you know, you want, you don't want to ask for help. You should, you want people to just like get up and do help you do the groceries. And well, I, especially for an example like that, I feel like you should, but for, for you, Pisces, it's just like, give people the opportunity to show, show themselves of like what value, if any, they bring to your life. All right. And then you have the dust devil moving out of stagnation. You know, I was even pointing that out with the Ten of Pentacles, Pisces, right? Where I was talking about like one person has eggs that they use and the other person, you know, that they bring to the feast and another one makes bread, right? I feel like for you, Pisces, there's this sense of collaboration coming together with people, giving people the opportunity to show themselves to you, giving people the opportunity to show to you that they can add to a beautiful harvest or add to a beautiful feast, you know, collectively, that's where the success comes in for you, Pisces. That's where I see a lot of progression for you guys. I'm not saying that you are stagnant right now, darling, all right? Because sometimes people take it. The last time I pulled this card for a Zodiac sign, I don't remember which one it was. I don't need to call them out personally here. But it's just like someone put it in the comments being like, I'm not stagnant, Velka. And I'm like, okay, girl. Like, But <laughs> I'm essentially just saying here, Pisces, that if you're wanting faster progression, I see it through teamwork. I see it through collaboration and being knowing when to delegate, right? There's a quote that I don't remember who it's from right now, Pisces, but um, I believe it was uh, Mr. Beast. I don't remember which one, but they're saying it's like a good business person knows when to delegate, right? You know, for example, it's like a YouTuber, like right? a YouTuber has like millions of views or subscribers, but they always want to be the one to uh, be the one editing, and, you know, because they say it's like they don't like uh, they have their own editing uh, flair and all that. But it's just like learning when to just go to an editor who expertise is that giving them the chance to show to you that they know how to uh, do your editing style. And then some, you know, give people a chance is, you know, not it's hard for Pisces sometimes to allow other people to show themselves to you, because I feel like a Pisces is usually the one where it's like. I feel like they're the most understood water sign in the sense of like, you guys are always, you know what it is that you want and you know the outcome that you want. And most people uh, will usually try to like butt in and try to change things up. But for you, Pisces, you're like, no, I want it done this way and what have you. And so challenge yourself in the way of being a little bit more malleable, challenge yourself and being willing to uh, accept and realize that there are some people that are around you that, you know, are can think on your same wavelength or just intelligent. The reason why I was like uh, step, uh, tiptoeing around for the past 30 seconds, uh, Pisces, is I essentially just trying to find a better word for just being like, except for the fact that not everyone um, is dumb, right? <laughs> is essentially what I wanted to say, that you have some smart people around you. 
All right. So you have here in your predictions, Ace of Pentacles, the world card coming in with the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords is the quickest moving knight out of all the knights, Pisces. All right. So it really complements that Eight of Wands energy, fast forward momentum coming in for you, because the, by definition, the Knight of Swords talks about quick forward movement, uh, unexpected uh, events happening in your life here in the coming days. And, you know, those events it could be good things or it could be bad things, right? Full transparency. But you have that Ace of Pentacles here, right? Talking about how the events coming forward to you are events that are profitable, right? In the financial sense, it's literally, you know, further uh, further financial abundance for whatever your uh, career is looking like right now, all right? But I feel like that abundance only comes in in response of this world energy here, right? As I talked about beforehand, the reason why this full energy complements this world card so much is because you have the beginning and the end of the major arcana storylines here and so that's the theme for you here uh pisces is like putting in a, putting an end to the way that you approach your work putting an end to the way that you approach your friends all right and it's like that sense of like uh stopping like a habit that you have or stopping like what have you you know whatever it is experimenting with new uh approaches and that's where you get the profits coming in here it's not going you're not going to have you're not going to be able to make that breakthrough that some of you pisces are uh, wanting by doing the same thing continuously this is a time to be experimenting this is a time uh, to do things that you normally wouldn't do right where it's just like all right i normally wouldn't uh open up to people but let me open up to this one friend maybe they have something insightful and then they catch you off guard and is actually beyond insightful and it's through that one experience that changes how you interact with future relationships going from now and going into the future all right pisces so i love you so much darling i'm gonna hold these i need i clearly need some lapis in my life here because i was struggling speaking there for parts of your reading so i apologize for that but um that's what i got for you this week hopefully this reading was helpful to you be sure to check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign pisces and i'll connect with you at a later point in time bye darling